going on? It's Tony from HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com and I just wanted to make this quick video today uh, just talking about why most people fail when it comes to buying and selling cars for profits. All right, and this failure is not only associated with buying and selling cars for profits. This failure is associated with that person or these people in many different parts of their lives. And a lot of it is fear of failure, all right? A lot of people are afraid of failure. Uh, and it puts them into this <clears throat> cyclone of uh, not knowing what to do. You know, this, this procrastination mode in a vacuum state where people just don't know what to do. They just think and think and what should, oh, maybe I should do it this way or that way. And they just don't get started. That's what makes people unsuccessful because they don't know where to start. They don't know what they want. All right. And that's why a lot of people fail. So <clears throat> first off, a lot of people are f fearful and they're scared to get started because they don't know what to do. They don't know where to get the good deals. Uh, they don't know how to negotiate. Um, they don't know how to do the title and the transferring or, or they get so hung up on all these little things that they don't get started. You know, they don't get started with the simple thing. Go out and look for a deal. Find a deal. Then worry about those things. Buy and sell one car. You know, a lot of people come to me and they're like, Tony, I want to sell, you know, 10, 20 cars a month. I want to make fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month <clears throat> flipping cars for profit. Uh, can your course, can you teach me how to do that? Absolutely. I can give you all the tools you need and you'll know how to do that. But I ask them, have you ever bought and sold a car before? Uh, no. Have you ever profited, you know, selling something like that before, you know, a car or a motorcycle or anything? No. All right. So why are you thinking so far ahead if you haven't even taken the first step? You know, they say the journey of a thousand miles starts at one step at a time, you know, so instead of overcomplicating things, you know, you need to just take the first step. All right, let me find a good deal. Let's not worry about, oh, I could only sell six or seven per year in my state or it's a, it's a, I mean, why are, why is, why are you letting that stop you? Why don't you just do your six or seven and make your 10 or 15,000 in profit first, then figure out what you want to do. Why don't people want to do that? You know, so stop overcomplicating success. And the only way to do that is to take action and do something, you know, go out, find a deal, get a car. Okay. If you have no money to invest, start saving. Okay. Cause you only really need $2,000 maybe to get started. Even less. If you find a good deal, if you get lucky, if you know people word of mouth, you can find a, uh, a good deal, you know, pretty cheap. Sometimes you get a car for a couple hundred bucks, you know? So get started, all right? The feel, the, stop having the fear of failure, okay? Because it's not good for you and you're not gonna do anything, you know? That, that's where the public education, the school system comes into play because every time students may do something wrong in class, you know, they punish you. Oh, you get a bad grade. Oh, you're getting an F. And that just puts down people in an emotional way, you know, as they're growing up and getting older. And by the time they're in their 20s or after college, they're all they're programmed to be to fear a failure, you know, so they don't want to take risks. You know, the people who are successful are all the guys who step outside the box and are not fear of failing. You know, they take action, they learn from their mistakes, they get up and keep going, they get up and keep going, they get up and keep going, 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 going. And then all of a sudden they're all the way up here when everybody else is still in the mud, you know? So that's my number one uh, tip today is you have to eradicate that fear of failure. Don't be afraid to fail. You know, I tell my daughter all the time, failing is good because you learn from your mistakes. You know, you learn. A lot of people are scared to fail, but failing is okay because every failure, you just learn a little bit more and then you get better, right? You have to be wise about it and learn from your mistakes though. You don't want to make the same mistakes over and over. Then you're, you know, you're not on the right track. So anyway, 
If you are watching this video interested in learning how to buy and sell cars for profit, uh, go to my website right now, put your name and email in. I'm going to give you a report that I wrote that tells you more about this game in step-by-step -step detail. And uh, maybe you may be interested in getting started, you know, to make a couple of few thousand dollars extra per month. And then if you want to get serious, you could look into getting your dealer's license and, uh, and go from there. That's another thing. People come to me. They're like, I want to get my dealer's license. Have you ever bought and sold a car before I ask them? No. Then why do you want to go jump in face first? I mean, that's just setting up yourself to fail big. Then you're never going to get back to it. You know, you're just, anyway, it's Tony from how to buy and sell your cars .com. Uh, click the link below if you're watching this on YouTube, go to the site, grab your free report, check it out. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Cheers.